All right, so today we're going to talk about hybrid swap. So the first question is, what is that? Well, if you have a 2 liter WRX, so 2002 to 2005 WRX that came with a 2 liter engine, um, pretty much as soon as the 2.5 liter turbo engine landed, people figured out very quickly you could put a 2.5 liter block in a 2 liter WRX and still keep the 2 liter WRX head. So that's become referred to as a hybrid swap. So again, people have been doing this pretty much since 2004, 2005. Uh, but there's still kind of a lot of questions that come up that, that we have to answer about the hybrid swap. And as time has gone on and people have figured out more and more about it, there's more better ways to do it to make the car more reliable um, and possibly you know, be more efficient, make more power. So the first thing to understand about a hybrid swap when you're, when you're taking the 2 liter heads and bolting them to the 2.5 liter block is that there's a difference in the bore, that's where you get the the majority of the extra displacement, although there's a, an increase in stroke, but there's also a change in the piston dish, the piston volume. So, so first, just to kind of show what the difference is in the bore, it, it's, the numbers are it's a 92 millimeter bore on the 2 liter and it's a 99.5 millimeter bore in the 2.5 liter. It doesn't seem like it's that different, but it turns out that it actually kind of is. So what I have here, I have a, this is a stock 2 liter head gasket, and a 2 point, I'm sorry, 2.5 liter head gasket and a 2 liter head gasket. If you put the 2 liter head gasket behind it, we'll, we'll get a picture that's more zoomed in, but you can see that there's actually a pretty substantial difference in the overlap, and that just highlights the difference in the bore. And one of the first things that people figured out is you could not use a 2 liter head gasket when you're doing the hybrid swap, because if you did, the pistons in the 2.5 liter block would actually come up and make contact with the head gasket, and basically you wouldn't be able to turn it over. It's a quick way to an engine feeling. So, so the first piece of the puzzle is you need to use a 2.5 liter or 257 head gasket when you're doing the hybrid swap. And as you can see, uh, if you use the early generation 2.5 liter head gaskets, the, the cutouts for the coolant passages are darn near identical. So there's no, no change there. Um, and strictly in a pinch, you can actually use the later head gaskets that came into play when they put AV, uh, secondary air injection in the 2.5 liter heads too. Um, but the most identical is the early generation uh, 2.5 liter turbos. So when you're talking about a hybrid, we know we need to use a 2.5 liter or 257 head gasket. What are some of the issues that you run into? Well, first and the biggest one is the compression. So if you just put a 2.5 liter or 257 block with a 2 liter head with a stock thickness head gasket, your compression is bumped just about to 9 to 1. The other problem is because of the difference in overhang, you don't really have a proper quench area between the piston and the cylinder head. So what this amounts to is a bump in compression um, that you probably don't want and a less than optimal cylinder shape for, uh, for performance. So it became pretty clear pretty early on that that was not the way to go. There, and now there's, there's three different options that are much better than just going with the stock thickness head gasket with a two liter head. So what those are, um, first Cosworth came out with a 1.5 millimeter head gasket. This is double the thickness of the factory head gasket. And if you crunch the numbers, it turns out that that thickness is just what you need to get your compression ratio back down to about eight 8.2 to 1 with the volume of the 2 liter heads. So that is the most cost effective way to correct for the, com the increase in compression which is generally the biggest um, issue that you run into with uh, the hybrid swap. Um, what we have seen with the, with the thicker head gaskets are for, for daily driven cars, lower power cars, this is the best most cost effective option. If you're more of a track use car and trying to make more power because you're doubling the thickness of the head gasket, uh, whenever you have a combustion event, there's double the surface area that that combustion gas is pushing, pushing against. So if you're wanting to run high boost, high power, it's, there's a better chance of having a head gasket failure in that situ situation running a thicker head gasket. So you'd want to look at one of the other options that there are. So the second option to, uh, to make the hybrid swap work better, uh, JE came out with this. So these are JE pistons. These are actually JE pistons that are specifically designed for the hybrid swap. So what that means is it's a forged piston. If you put the forged piston into a 257 block, this piston has the correct dish to mate up with the two liter head. And they also fix the quench area issue, but you know, created by the difference in overhang. 
So this option gives you, uh, it fixes all the issues and you, you get a forged piston as well. It is a little bit more expensive again because it's a forged piston versus just a head gasket, but it fixes all of the issues. And then if you're running these JE hybrid pistons, you would stay with a stock thickness head gasket because the correction for the increase uh, in compression is the dish of the piston itself, not, uh, you don't need a thicker head gasket for that. So this is a really good option if you're wanting to put in a forged piston. If, you know, if it's a lower power application, you want to run a stock block, then, then the thicker head gasket is a good option. So the final option is uh, something that's just come out in the last few years, which is basically chamber matching the 2 liter cylinder heads to the volume of the 2.5 liter cylinder head. So in doing that, then you're, you're getting rid of this overhang basically because you're taking the material out of the cylinder head and, and you know, not doing it with a piston. Um, it's probably the most expensive of the options because if you're going to do it right, um, you know, you're going to have to chamber match the cylinder head, also do probably a, at a minimum a bowl blend and a valve job um, because of the material that's, that's changed in the cylinder head. Uh, but it is probably, you know, between that and the piston, either one of those is the most effective way to make it so that you have the, uh, an efficient chamber shape for combustion. Um, and you don't have the issue with increased compression that you would if, if you didn't do anything. Um, the thing to keep in mind, the biggest thing to keep in mind with the two liter heads if you're going to have them machined. Uh, the two liter cylinder heads are very prone to cracking where the spark plug goes into the combustion chamber. Um, generally speaking, I would say any machine shop worth its salt, if, they, if you have a two liter head casting that has that crack, they will not machine it because once that cylinder head is cracked, it's pretty much going to continue to crack. There's really no way to fix it. Um, so then the head casting would have to be replaced. So um, pretty much what we, what we tell people, you know, once you hit about 100,000 miles on a 2 liter engine, there's about a 50-50 shot that one of the cylinder heads is going to be cracked. If it's a higher mileage car or if it's been, you know, driven hard a lot, you know, seen a lot of heat, you know, then the odds of, of having at least one cylinder head crack go up. And, you know, yes, we have seen people where they take the engine apart and both cylinder heads are, in fact, cracked. Um, in that case, what you might want to consider, um, especially if you're looking at, at purchasing a new um, set of castings or, or a new casting, is actually going with a 2.5 liter head. So we'll go into that in a different video, but that's another option is actually just go and do a full 2.5 liter swap instead of the hybrid swap. Um, it, but that's going to make the most sense again is if you, especially if you get in there and you find that both of your 2 liter heads are cracked, that's definitely something that you want to want to consider. But if your heads are in good shape, you know, either look at the pistons, the chamber matching, or the thicker head gasket, just depending on the power application. Um, the last thing that I'll say about the, the hybrid swap that's really important to keep in mind uh, and get a lot of questions about is do you have to tune for it? Absolutely. Um, once you're increasing the displacement, you need a map to go with it. Um, and something else along the same lines to keep in mind, you do have to upgrade the injectors, the turbo, um, the intercooler, the, you know, other things when you're putting the 2.5 liter engine into a WRX? The answer is no, you don't absolutely have to do it, but it would certainly be wise to do it. Um, if you put in a hybrid block and you keep everything else stock, so stock, you know, uh, four, 440cc injectors, TDO4 turbo, the power that you're going to gain is, is going to be minimal, if any. More than anything, the turbo is just going to spool up sooner, um, but your, your peak power is going to be very, very similar. Um, it's just you're basically having a different power band. And actually, the TDO4 is definitely on the small side for a 2.5 liter engine. So it's, it's not really that optimal. Um, and, and fundamentally, if you don't upgrade those components, then the, the fueling and the turbo uh, could definitely be limiting factors for the longevity of the engine. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, but you know, a lot of times when, you're, when we're doing these hybrid swaps, it's not something that has been planned for and laid out. It's something more on the spur of the moment that needs to be done. So, you know, can you come back and do that later? Sure. But, but underlying, um, the, the underlying fact is you've got to get a tune for it no matter what you put on uh, the car, even if it's everything stock going back on it, it's got to be tuned for the extra displacement. So that's pretty much it. I hope that helps clear up some of the questions we get about the hybrid swaps. Um, as I mentioned, we'll, we'll go into more depth about what, it, what is involved in doing the 2.5 liter swap as well, but that'll be a different video. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy this, drop a like and uh, check back often.